I concur. Um, I haven't looked at uh, the 28th Amendment um, that Gavin Newsom has uh, proposed. I'll take a look at that. Um, but but I, I do agree with you that um, you know national reforms are going to be necessary when it comes to public safety. Um, I think oftentimes it, it, there there is a, a a sort of conversation that um, that 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 is missing, and and that is how much money it costs us as taxpayers um, when we have to compensate for police misconduct. Um, and it is millions and billions of dollars just in our own city, right? If you were to calculate um, just what we've been able to pay out uh, in, um, in over 10 years, it'll be nearly you know hundred million dollars uh, if, if not more um, and that's just like an estimate from me just thinking about between George Floyd and with Miss Moore Mr. Moore today and you know all of all of the other ones um, and and I, and I think you know as, as we think about the investment that our park our parks need as we think about investments that are needed to you know, pave our streets, the investments that are needed to create more affordable housing, the investments that are um, needed to create employment opportunities. Um, there's just so much that we could be doing with that money, um, and we are, we are spending money on, on something uh, that we shouldn't be spending money on. These settlements are costing us so much of our money that could be going to, to invest to create the kind of Minneapolis um, that we want to live in. And, and I think for, for everyone that has talked to me about this, that's not the, the thing that people are concerned with, but that is, that is something that we should all be concerned about. Um, and, and that should be part of our conversations with uh, municipal leaders here in, in Minneapolis when we talk to our city council members, our mayor, um, our police chief, and others. 